I'm Mick Garris, and this is Trailers from Hell. In 1980, I went to work at Avco Embassy Pictures to do specialized publicity in the science fiction and horror genre. This was right after they tapped into a surprising success with a little movie made by a filmmaker in his early 20s. This young writer-director was named Don Coscarelli, and that little movie was Phantasm. Phantasm only cost around $250,000, but it grossed something like $12 million for the studio and also changed the course of Avco Embassy's direction. They went on to release films by John Carpenter, David Cronenberg, and our fearless leader Joe Dante, among others, and were responsible for much of the best films of the horror boom of the 1980s. Phantasm is a dreamlike film, focusing more on atmosphere and ethereal scares than on plot very influenced by the dream logic of Dario Argento. Yeah, there's a plot. Two brothers and the local ice cream man believe the mysterious mortician is responsible for a string of deaths in their small town. But this is just a spine to hang a string of truly nightmarish sequences together. Phantasm was made in the pre-digital days of 1979, when a low-budget film with lofty ambitions required a lot of imagination. Coscarelli created several iconic visions never before seen on film, but most specifically, the silver sphere. Coscarelli is still cagey about how he did the effects for the flying silver globes that whoosh through the hallways of the mortuary with incredible speed and realism. But they are a sight to behold and would become the focus and high point of the film and the four sequels to follow. The dwarf dead are like Jawas from hell and the landscape of the dimension that exists beyond the walls of our world is like a trip across the river Styx. But the real center of the movie is the evil character at the center of all this hellish action, the tall man. Creating an iconic horror villain is no small feat, but the tall man joins the ranks of Norman Bates and Freddy Krueger. Played by an actor named Rory Guy, who incidentally wrote the liner notes for the first Beatles album, he used the name Angus Scrim for the film. The character and the name stuck. Coscarelli has made a couple of other classic films, Bubba Hotep and John Dies at the End. We were so happy with his episode of Masters of Horror, Incident on and Off a Mountain Road, like Bubba Hotep based on a story by Joe Lansdale, that we launched the series with it. Is it a nightmare? Is it an illusion? Is it an evil? Is it a fantasy? Whatever it is, if this one doesn't scare you, you're already dead. 